We're going to show how to create a hexagon grid with Affinity Designer. I had a previous video that showed how to do this, but I think this way is a little bit easier. I make use of the grid tool and the power duplicate feature of Affinity Designer in this one. Get started, I'll choose Affinity Designer. Start with a new document at eight and a half by 11 in portrait mode. I'm gonna go up to view. I'm gonna choose show grid. I'm gonna to go to view again. I'm gonna choose grid and axis. I'm gonna choose the advanced grid. You can see that advanced grid has a wide variety of different things to choose from. I'm gonna choose the regular triangle grid. I'll close that. Now you can see that although it's a triangle grid, if I look at six of these grouped together, it looks like a hexagon. I'm gonna check the size of those. So for gaming, I want to have one inch across the flats or some other multiple of that. So if I check that, it's 1.732, which is not one inch across the flats. I'm gonna to go to view. grid. I need to change the spacing. Turns out that the square, if I use the square root of 3 here, is 1.732. And set this to three divisions. Now if I check the distance across the flats, it comes out to one inch. So that's the size hexagon I want for this example. I'm going to make one inch hexes. I'm going to choose the pen tool. I'm going to start up in this corner. Go down, down to that one, over to that one. Double click there to terminate it. Then go here and here. Double click that. Now I'm going to select all of those. Now I'm going to go to edit and duplicate selection. I'm also going to note that the shortcut for duplicate selection is Control J, and I'm going to use that when I do the power duplicate. So I'll choose that, and I'll move this over to the next grid. Now, if I hit Control J, it'll not only duplicate it, but it will move it as well. You can also use Control Duplicate to rotate things. I'm not going to use that in this video. I'm going to hit Control J until I have the line filled up. Now I'm going to select all of those. I'm going to Control J again to duplicate it. I'm going to move this down until the peak of this hexagon is aligned with the vertical line of the previous row. Make sure I'm not, um, make sure it's aligned properly over here. That's good. Now I'm going to select all of these. I'm going to hit Control J again. This time I'm going to move it straight down until the peak is aligned with the second row. And then I can just hit Control J and I'll scroll down a little bit until I reach the bottom of the page. You can make these other sizes by changing the number of grid divisions. I'm going to get rid of all these extras at the bottom. I'm going to select all of them. I'm going to select the entire grid. I'm going to group it. I'm going to go to the stroke. I'm going to increase the stroke width to 2, just so you can see it pretty clearly. If I wanted to change the color, make sure to set stroke. And I'm going to go to my swatches and I could make this a different color if I wanted to. If it's printing out too dark, you can adjust the opacity to make it lighter. I'm gonna go to View and turn off Show Grid to show what that looks like. Let me know if you have any comments or questions, and thanks for watching.